Hello everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix Starfield crashing, freezing and not launching issues on a Windows computer. So the very first way that I'm going to show you how to fix these issues is using a program that I created called Easy Game Utility. You can download this for free and on the free version you will get free attempts at fixing the game. So once you open up the program, you will end up with a window that looks like this. I've got the pro version, so I've got unlimited attempts at fixing games. So if you want the pro version, then definitely go ahead and check that out. It's currently on a special offer price as well. So go across to fix and then go all the way down to the bottom here and you will then see custom game fixing. Click on to browse and you then need to go to the location where Starfield is installed. You then need to select the games.exe and go open and you then need to choose how you're launching the game. So I'm using Steam. I've not actually added Xbox um, app yet, but I will add that next week. Um, so I've not got around to that, but if you don't, well, if you're using the Xbox app, just click on no launcher for now. So let's go ahead and select Steam and you can then go ahead and click on attempt fix. And then Easy Game Utility is going to run through a few different methods and try and fix the game and then launch it. And with a bit of luck, that will resolve the issues that you have with the game. If the game doesn't launch for some reason, then just go ahead after it says finished, um, just go ahead and launch Starfield. And then hopefully, like I said, Easy Game Utility will hopefully have resolved those issues. Okay, so you can see there that it did just launch up the game. I'm now going to actually close this down. There we go. So the next thing to do, like I said, is ensure you have the latest updates installed for Windows. We can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and you then need to click on to settings and then go on to update and security and then click on the check for updates button. If you do have an optional quality update available, then go ahead and download and install that as well. Once you've updated Windows, the next thing to do also is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, you can right click on the start menu icon, go to device manager and then expand display adapters. That nearly came out wrong then device manager. You can see there I've got the RX 6750 XT. So I'd need to go to the AMD website and download the latest driver for that. I will pop some links in the description below to some guides that I've done on how you can update your driver if you're not sure how to. Now you've updated Windows and also updated your graphics card driver. The next thing that you want to do is open up the start menu and type in control panel. You then need to click on control panel and we then need to find the power options here. If you do not see this, then just change few by to small icons and then select it. You need to make sure you have the high performance power plan option selected. Once you've selected that, close down power options and then ensure you have closed everything else down as well. So if you've got a web browser open, Discord, a music player, anything like that, close it all down in case it's conflicting with the game causing it to crash. Once you've closed everything down, launch Starfield again and see if it helped resolve the issues. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is go back to Easy Game Utility. Once you have it open, go to the Clean tab. We now need to go all the way to the bottom. You're then going to see graphics cards. You need to click on clean next to your graphics card. So I've got an AMD, which means I need to click on clean next to AMD and then go OK. This is going to clear out all the old cache files for the graphics card. Once it's done that, go ahead and launch the game again and see if that helped resolve the problem. If that didn't, then that's fine because we've still got a few more things that we can do. So the next thing that you need to do if you've overclocked your graphics card is remove the overclock settings in case they're also causing the game to crash. Also, if you've enabled XMP in your BIOS, then disable that as well, as that's well known for causing crashing issues with games. So go ahead and disable XMP, but only do this obviously if you know how to. If none of that's helped, then the next thing that we want to do is open up the start menu and type in disk cleaner. You need to select disk cleanup and you then need to select your C drive and go OK. And you then need to deselect everything and then select DirectX and go OK and then delete files. Once it's deleted the DirectX cache, again try Starfield and see if it helped resolve the problem. Now if that didn't help, 
Then the next thing that we want to do is open up the launcher that you're using to play Starfield on. So I'm actually using Steam, which means I need to open up Steam. If you're using the Xbox app, then you need to right click on the start menu icon, go to apps and features, and you then need to search for the game in the list. So I need to think of a game that I'm using. I think I've got Forza that used the Xbox app. There we go. So I'm going to use that as the example. Select Starfield, go to advanced options, scroll down, click terminate, then click on repair. See if that helps. If it doesn't, then click on reset. Once you've done that, launch the game again and see if that helped. Just keep in mind though, if you have got any saved data or something to back that up before doing this. As for Steam, all you need to do is open up Steam, go to your library, find Starfield in the list, so you can see it's there, right click on it, go to properties, you then need to go to installed files, and then click on fair, <laughs> get my words messed up again, verify integrity of game files. This is then going to check through the game files and ensure none of them have become corrupted or missing. Now if none of that's helped fix the game, then the next thing that you need to do is open up File Explorer. Once you have File Explorer open, go to your Documents folder, go into the My Games folder, find Starfield, right click on it, go Rename and just add CS to the end and press Enter. Once you've done that, this is the folder where your save file and everything's all located. Launch the game again and see if that helped. Now, if that did fix the crashing issues, then it could be a save date that's got an issue, or it could also be this file here, which is basically, oh, there we go, a file that contains some settings and stuff. So go ahead and restore your save files and then see if it's working. If it was, then you know it's this file here. You can always remove this off the end as well, if that wasn't the issue. The next thing that we need to do is click near trespass, do the percentage symbol, type in local, app data percentage symbol and press enter find starfield in the list right click on it go rename and then just add cs onto the end of there as well once you've done that launch up the game again and then see if that helped resolve the issues that you're having so i hope this video was helpful like i said at the start of the video easy game utility i am always improving that program and that is going to be the easiest way to fix most of the issues with well basically any game so hopefully that did help you out if you did like the video click the like button below and if you want to see more of computer sluggish videos my face on the videos then click the subscribe button if you subscribe then i will see you in the next video i've said video about four times now i'm gonna stop <laughs>